In 1933, a new road was built alongside Loch Ness. The Daily Mail hired big game hunter Marmaduke Wetherill to find Nessie. He found giant footprints leading up to the water. Researchers from the National History Museum were called to investigate. The footprints were actually made by a dried hippopotamus foot. Wetherill had been hoaxed. He retreated from the public eye, humiliated. A respectable British surgeon, Colonel Robert Wilson, was driving alongside the lock early one morning. He noticed ripples and captured what he saw on camera. These photos remain the best documented evidence of Nessie's existence. Until... Wilson did not want his name associated with the published photos, which is why they became known as the Surgeon's Photo. Wilson's photographs remained undisputed until Ian, Marmaduke Wetherill's son, admitted they had been faked. However, he died before the full tale could be revealed. In 1984, the photos were analysed in the British Journal of Photography. Apparently, the ripples could not have been made by something more than two or three feet long. An otter or bird, perhaps? Later on, Christian Sperling, Wetherill's stepson, revealed that he and Wetherill had created the photos using a toy submarine fitted with a serpent head. They persuaded Wilson, the surgeon, to claim the photos as his own, to give them a degree of authenticity. This was their revenge for the hippo track humiliation. <laughs>